that was a quite a pleasant drive up here um, once you get onto Old Port Road it's a very very smooth gravel road um, then once you get to the road to the the boom gate here um, near the track um, it gets windy but still very smooth only the odd pothole here and there but I only counted like three maybe three or four apparently um, once you get to the boom gate here, I think it's a bit of a distance to walk. Not too much, I don't think. Can't remember how much, but um, there's uh, some other people here, so that's a good sign. Looks like they're expecting some nice weather too, so uh, yeah. So hopefully it's going to be a good day. I hope it stays sunny for the whole day. But weather zone did say it was going to be cloudy today, so who knows? It might get cloudy later on. It might, might not always be like this. We'll see. Anyway, it's... um. Quite cool at the moment, but I'm sure once I get on my walk, I'll probably heat up quite a bit. So I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna get changed into my shorts because I'm wearing my long pants at the moment, camp pants. Uh, so yeah, we'll get changed and uh, we'll set off. got to the uh, the field centre for the Scottsdale High School um, just uh, having a rest on these log seats that they have me um, so it's from the yellow boom gate it's about half an hour walk I sit down and have a rest at every rock or log I see. <laughs> That's how I'm fit I am. Reminds me a lot of Mount Stronach, but it would probably be a bigger version than that. So see how we go further up. <laughs> Put a car jack under that and you could roll it down the hill. Squash everyone below. having a quick rest at the maze and I thought I'd get out the all trails map and see where I'm at because I've got a bit of signal up here so um I've realized that I did actually go the long way around um, and the short way actually seems to start right near where I parked and I didn't see it anywhere so that was strange so I might have to see if I can somehow follow that going back So I'm just um, crossing the saddle now that I've hit the maze. So a little bit of going downhill again, just very gradual, not too much. And then the final climb to the summit, which you just saw. Saul left for Damascus, breathing murder and hate. With a handful of warrants, 
not suspecting his fate. He met the Lord on the highway. He turned his life all around. He spent the rest of his days telling everyone all about the Savior he found. He had to tell the story. Jesus set him free. Give God the glory. Well, I made it. Yeah, I left my car around, um, I think it was about 20 to 11 in the morning. And it's now about 20 past 1. So you can do the math in your head if you want. Uh, so yeah, I'm just enjoying the views, having a rest. And um, I'm feeling quite famished actually. So I'm going to get some lunch out. So these um, hiking shoes that I got from Kmart, I think. Have done me really well. They're nice and sticky. Athletic sweatshirt kind of thing from Kmart as well. It was blue, so I got it. <laughs> there were other colours too. I think there was orange, brown, grey, or something. I like blue. Right, so here we go. I'm going to give you the big grand tour. Um, we'll start from this direction, which is almost south, kind of slightly southeast a little bit. So I'll just show you the other peaks of Mount Cameron. So another peak another peak the other peaks so this is the tallest peak on the summit track um, now the last video I did on Mount Cameron was down here you can see a little rock oh sorry down there is cube rock so that was in my last video one of my last videos anyway so oh that chili beans picked up came prepared it's a bit cold up here now that the wind's blowing not southerly now that i'm a bit warmer i'll give you the grand tour so filming I'll do up here and um, I might not meet you again until I get back to the car because my phone's under 50% now. But before I go, I really want to see if there's a logbook here because most peaks in Tassie have one. 
I've given up. I've looked everywhere and I can't find the logbook, so that's a bit of a shame. Oh well. I'll head back down. See you there. Right, so I am just a little bit below the maze and now I've come looked at the map and I've realised where the junction between the two routes are. So I came up this way where the tape is down there. And over there is a rock hand. How did I miss that? Unbelievable. Well, getting down that shorter route took me almost exactly two hours. Almost, just a little bit under. Well, that was Mount Cameron's summer and tra ugh, summit track. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.